this thing looks freaking gorgeous. Looks like a real marquee. What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is the Legends Ultimate with the Bit Pixel. Today we're gonna be installing the Bit LCD on the Legends Ultimate version 1.1. It does come with the manual. It tells you how to install it with this manual. So it looks like we got a USB cable right here. This is a four port USB hub. Power cable and a Y adapter for the power cable. All right, and ta-da! We got the bit LCD marquee. So this button right here is the recovery button and this is to set different modes. So we're gonna leave it at default, which is the USB mode. And over here, we got power, USB 2.0 and HDMI for Windows and Android later on compatibility. So to mount the marquee, if you have version 1.0, you want to use A, D, and E. If you have version 1.1 cabinet, use B, C, and F. Now we, before you mount it, you want to make sure you plug in the cables. So we got this cable. Here's the power cable, and we're going to plug that into the power port right next to the USB port. You want to power off your Legends Ultimate and run the cables. There we go. It's that easy. One last thing I forgot. You do have to purchase your own USB drive, and you have to plug it into your PC and format it to a FAT32. And you want to plug that into USB 2. Plug that into USB 2. All right. And make sure the switch is facing toward USB 2. Let's go ahead and remount this. And remove the last screw. Don't let the panel fall because you destroy the wires. And there's a couple of wires you have to remove. They're actually hot glued. You have to squeeze the tab and then wiggle it out. The hot glue should come off. There we go. Then you got the power cable right here. And you got another power cable right here. In the back of the Legends Ultimate, you'll see these cables draping down. That's the power cable and the USB cable. The connections on the left are for the control deck. Next, you want to go ahead and unplug the USB cable from the game board and grab the Y adapter and go ahead and plug that into the marquee cable and the control deck power cable also plug into that Y adapter right here. The marquee cable right here plugs into the USB hub and the USB cable that you unplugged Go ahead and plug that into the USB hub as well, right next to the marquee. Just like that. The USB hub into the game board. There we go. Ethernet cable plugs in right here. And one power connection. And another power connection going to the game board right here. There we go. Alright, we're gonna plug it in. Oh, there it is, right there. I'm gonna focus. This is what it looks like. It looks amazing. Actually, it looks like a legit marquee. Go to settings. Make sure you're signed in and you're connected to Wi Fi or, you know, hardwired connection. 
and you go to version on page three click on that hit OK and hit A to download all right so now it says update completed successfully click on version and make sure you're on the latest version 5.67 you want to grab your flash drive X and plug it in so it's plugged in right here and go to settings there's flash drive X on the third page and we're gonna format hit yes and then we're gonna mount and make sure you have your coin ops X USB unplugged before you format any drives all right let's go ahead and hit yes to mount that dismiss all right now it's going to auto mount when you reboot the system and let's go back to app store x on the third page once again legends bit lcd select that select this icon and now we have option to install and let's go ahead and install that and then we're going to wait and then we're going to do an update for the bit lcd all right let's go ahead and launch all right let's go now to select legends bit lcd select that one more time now it gives you an option right here it says launch stop cancel let's go ahead and select this to automatically turn on and let's go ahead and update and we're going to update the firmware. Now, when we move around right here, it shows on the marquee. You want to go ahead and select it one more time. And select the icon once again. And then you can update right here and click on update bit LCD resources this is gonna take a while so be patient alright update is complete so we have all the marquees that are available from the server now installed on the USB drive in the legends bit LCD now if you want to add more art onto the bit LCD this is how to do it go to website download the zip file and then extract it Take all the third party images and drop it into the third party folder. So now we have these extra marquees that should be available for my other games. Let's go ahead and put the USB drive right here. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and turn it on. Now, if you boot up your Legends Ultimate and you get double blinking lights right here. It's easy to fix. Just go ahead and press and hold the P2 button and it should go away. And then now your controls should work. And there we go. I have it booted up straight to fix it Felix. All right, so let's try BYOG. Some of these games. So Cobra Command works. Dragon's Lair. Let's go to my favorites. That should be updated within the next update, hopefully. And Centipede probably be updated too in the next update, hopefully. Elevator action looks good. I like the Fix It Felix pixel art. Quality looks crisp. So whether you get the BitPixel or the Bit LCD, I think it's a great upgrade for your Legends Ultimate. I'll leave the links in the video description below if you want to purchase one of these. If you know anyone with a Legends Ultimate, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. Help someone out. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.